So yeah, we are here in Los Angeles with a man who has a humongous collection of Star Wars memorabilia, and it's down in his basement. So come on, let's go take a look. When I say humongous, you'll see this uh, sign here. That's just the intro. That's just the beginning. That's now, you great. Ready? This is his basement. This is not a museum. Come on, let's take a look. All this stuff, and neat stuff it is, wow. belongs to this man right here, our super collector of the day, Steve Sansweet. Steve, thanks here. for having us, man. My pleasure. This is just incredible. How much stuff you got? Well, I stopped counting at about 10,000, so and your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> How long ago did you stop counting? I, uh, I stopped counting about five years ago, so, so I would think... Uh, we're well over the 10,000 well 10, limit. Now, do you have anything that I missed that went through my fingers that was maybe I could have picked up for a couple of bucks a while back, and now it's gone through my fingers and it's valuable? Well, how about this piece? All right. This is a die-cast tie bomber that you could have picked up at um, Montgomery Ward for six dollars and ninety-nine cents. When? When did I? When did I miss out uh, on this gold? Probably <laughs> 1979, 1980, right as Empire Strikes Back uh, came out. Okay, so it's still in the box. What's its value? Oh, about seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Claire, sometimes talking to a super collector <laughs> kills me. You know, you think you're going somewhere, then you realize you could have picked it up for uh, six ninety-eight, and it's uh, a zillion times more valuable. But because you didn't buy it, that's why it's collectible now. Oh, well, there you go. Now, speaking of something I didn't buy, do you have anything that I couldn't get my hands on, even if I wanted to, but you got it? Well, one of the things that's happening in the Star Wars uh, collectible era today is that people are looking for prototypes. Here's a prototype toy, a talking Yoda. I still don't know why they didn't make it, but it's great. Feel the force around you. <laughs> Feel the force around you. You know, he, uh... Feel the force around you. Okay, Yoda. He kind of looks like me in the morning, you know that? <laughs> I think he, he does need a shave. What's, uh, what's your favorite Star Wars trilogy movie there is? I like The Empire Strikes Back myself Seven? because it was a little darker and because um, you just didn't know how it was going to turn out. You had to wait three years, but it was worth the wait. Do you have actual movie memorabilia? I know he does. This is what I want to see. Can All we right. take a look? Well, let's here go over we here. Have, uh, this is an actual Darth Vader costume from Empire Strikes Back that I was able to put together through an auction and several other places. It's so scary looking. How much is that valued at? Well, it's hard to say about the whole costume, but just this much of it went at auction. Lucas, uh, Lucas gave it to an Artist Rights Foundation. This much about two years ago, $20,000. Now, how did you get started collecting all this stuff? I collected space toys about a year before Star Wars came out because I grew up with the space age and was fascinated with it. Um, Star Wars was another thing to collect, and then by the time Empire Strikes Back came out, I really got hooked. But you were telling me even as a kid, you really liked space memorabilia even then, right? Yeah, I had space forts. I watched uh, uh, Tom Corbett on TV, so it was something that I really grew up with and, and loved all along. And Claire, just so you get an idea, this small, this space right here, this isn't it. I mean, there's like, if you look back there, that's like another 50,000 million pieces. It's right? sort of a bowling alley that's filled <laughs> with Star Wars. Stuff. Let's take a look at your favorite piece, can we? Okay, right back here. All right, let's go, uh, you go that way and I'll go this okay. way and she's got too much stuff. Too much stuff. All right. Um, there was a scene in the first movie, Star Wars, where Chewbacca, the giant furry Wookiee, played chess with R2-D2. And R2 was winning and Chewbacca was very unhappy about it. But there was a holographic chess game, and these are two of the pieces. This is the stop, one of the stop-motion animation pieces that they could actually move joint by joint, and it could grab this guy. It was a very exciting segment. I was very pleased to be able to get these two pieces. And how much would you part for these for? If I came up with all I, the money in the world? That's what it would take. Would I it? really wouldn't sell them. These are my favorites. I don't blame you. Now, you've written a book and have another one coming out. That's you know? right. All right. Let's... Uh, Take a look at these so the folks at home know exactly what we're talking about. Now, this is the book that uh, Steve actually already has out, and it is entitled Star Wars, From Concept to Screen, screen to Collectible. And that's, that's Steven Sinsky. <laughs> this is uh, all about the Star Wars, but wait, there's more, right? There's you have a more coming out? actual people have just been crying for a Star Wars price guide. This book is coming out next month and will be available in most bookstores and by mail order. But it's going to be a 200-page price guide and thousands of photos. Now, what does George Lucas think about your entire collection here? Well, Steve? George has not been here himself, although other people from Lucasfilm have been, and I think he's sort of pickled that people have seen Star Wars as something that's become part of the popular culture and worth collecting Absolutely. and worth preserving. 
And hopefully there will be more Star Wars to come, huh? Well, he's talking about three more movies starting in 1997 or 98, so I think I'm going to have to build another floor onto the house. 50,000 more pieces yes, to collect I'm there, Steve. I'm afraid so. Stephen, thanks so much for having us in today. This John, has just been pleasure. an education and a blast. And uh, may the force be with you. And with you. And with you. So back to you in the apartment, Claire. And with you <laughs> as well. Thank you so much. You know what's so interesting? It's with super collectors. Sometimes something starts out as a hobby, like here, and all of a sudden it turns into a life. It takes over the person's life, and he ends up writing a book. So you never know when you start collecting what's going to happen. And once again, our number is 1-800-FX-FX-FX1. In case you see something along the way that the person who has brought an item to be appraised... Is